Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. In this video, we're gonna be mixing a vocal using the fantastic reverb and delays that are built into Persona Studio One. So let's get to it. Let's have a quick listen to the vocal with the track before we actually add any reverb or delay. Stained glass paint on the window light Pouring through bright like you and I Bathed in a stream, water fills my truth in a world of lies. So as you can hear, it's a nicely recorded vocal, but obviously we need to add quite a bit of reverb just to give it that, the ambience that it needs for this song as the sort of effect that I want to get for this is like she's singing in a big church. So what we're going to do, let's click on the track and I'm going to copy over room reverb straight into my sends. Right, let's bring back the send level just a little bit. And let's hear it now. Let's just boost it a bit. Pouring through bright like you and I. Bathed in a stream, water fills my eyes. Believe your truth in a world of lies. Really, you could actually just leave it like that. That reverb sounds great as it is straight out the box. But let's change a couple of things just to create that more she's singing in a massive room sort of effect. So the first thing we're going to do is to change the mode to high quality as we want to get the best quality reverb out of this that we can. Right, let's hear it again. Stained glass paint on the window light. Now you'll notice as soon as I switch that on, the high frequencies have started to come through. Now, sometimes that's what we want and sometimes that's not what we want. Now, I want the high quality reverb from this, but I don't want all those high frequencies coming in. So what I'm gonna do is to add an EQ before the reverb. So it's filtering out those high frequencies before it hits the reverb. So let's do that. Again, we're gonna be using the built-in effects that are in Studio One. So I'm gonna click on the track where the reverb is and I'm gonna copy that EQ before the reverb on the inserts in that reverb channel. I'm going to bring in the low cut and I'm going to filter off quite a bit at the bottom end. Let's just bring that up and just bring it up to about, say about 100 hertz. Pouring through bright like you and I Bathe in a stream, water fills my eyes So that's taming all the lower frequencies in the reverb. Now let's have a look at the high frequencies. I'm going to use a high shelf for this. And if you click on the last node here and just drag it down, you'll see that's the high shelf. And let's bring it down quite low. Let's filter off about one and a half K. Believe your truth in a world of lies. Who was I before I saw your shade? I was hiding underneath my so I'm really happy with the way the reverb is now sounding, but there's still a frequency in that reverb I just want to have a quick look at. And it's a sort of mid frequency. So let's click on that yellow node, which is right in the middle and around 500 Hertz. I'm going to turn the cue up as that's going to sharpen the EQ frequency. And let's turn it up. Who was I before I saw your face? And there, just where she says face, you can hear that frequency popping out. Let's have another listen. Who was I before I saw your face? Okay, so there's a the frequency that we want to remove. So let's just filter that off. I'm just going to bring it down by about 8 dB. You found my heart in an empty place. Now, because we've lowered some of those frequencies, it's actually dipped back the gain on the reverb. So let's just turn up the send just a little bit, just to compensate. So now I'm happy with the EQ and the reverb. Let's just go back to the reverb and I'm going to bring back the length a bit, say to about two seconds. And now we're going to play with the pre-delay. Now the pre-delay is going to give us that blooming effect as what pre-delay is, is 
the clean signal coming through before the reverb actually kicks in. Now, because the BPM of this track is 73, I've worked out the timing of the pre-delay that I want. Now, I either want 16th or 8th notes, so I can change the pre-delay. Let's try 102. It's actually 102.7. Let's try that. Let's turn it up a bit. That really works for me, but let's try half of that amount, which is about 56. Now, I think that sounds great, but I think it sounded better with the larger pre delay. So that was 102.7. Let's try that again. That's the end of the first part of this video. In the second part of this video, we're gonna be looking at adding delays to the reverb, and that video is gonna be ready in a couple of days. Now, if you got something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and click on that bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul Drew, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.